Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to the Home Cooking Hunter. Recently I asked a question on the Home Cooking Hunter page about what dessert ingredients you guys would like me to use. So I took a couple of those, put them in the thinking cap, and came up with these right here. And what we came up with was crispy peanut butter s'more bars. So, anyways, to make our crispy peanut butter s'more bars, the first ingredient you got is a 10 ounce package of the big old marshmallows. Okay, 10 ounce package. Then, we need six cups of Rice Krispies. After that, about a third of a package, however many you guys really want to use, it's up to you. But we got about a third of a package of the mini marshmallows. After that, we got six graham crackers crushed up. Now, you can crush them up as, as fine or as chunky as you want. I chose to go with about, about that size right there, as you can see. Give me a little bit of extra crunch. Okay. Next, we got chocolate, baking chocolate, mini kisses, and it says right here on the package, perfect for baking. You want to look for that. Make sure it's baking chocolate, not just regular old milk chocolate. Next, last ingredient, peanut butter. Key ingredient, peanut butter. Good stuff. All right, so let's get started. Oh, also, you'll need three tablespoons of butter. And I like these little four tablespoon blocks because you can cut your three tablespoons off here and then later we've got to butter one of these spatulas and there's just enough left over to finish up the job. So first, let's go ahead and let's just cut this. I'm just going to cut it right here on the table because it's not like we're cutting a whole lot. So I don't really need a cutting board. And I'm going to take this butter and I'm just going to plop it right on top of the marshmallows. After that, we're going to put it in the microwave for three minutes on high. First, doing two minutes on high. Take it out, stir it, and then continue for the remainder one minute. Um, you'll see these marshmallows blowing up in the microwave. Don't be afraid. That's what they're supposed to do. So, butter's in there. Marshmallows. Let's go to the microwave and get these suckers going. Marshmallows done. I need something to stir them with. Got it right here. My little spatula. Just start stirring. You want to get that butter really moved around in the marshmallows there. Okay. Get it all nice and whipped up. Once you got that whipped up pretty good, scrape that off. One more minute. All right, we are finished. Looks like it's got water underneath it. Okay. Let's we'll stir it one more time. You see how liquidy it gets? You want to stir it up, and I'm sure. A lot of you know how to make Rice Krispies, but some of you don't, so that's why we're going through with all this. Just get that nice, stir it up. We want to kind of be quick about it because we don't want this to set before we get our Rice Krispies in. So here's our mixing bowl. I'm going to dump my six cups of Krispies in here. And then the extremely hot glass bowl that I'm grabbing my bare hands. I'm going to scoop it all out. Good thing I'm the home cooking hunter, and I'm mainly as crap. All right, let's get over here and get this all mixed up. Okay, now I like to be pretty quick about this for the next half of it, because while well, I like to keep everything hot 
and ready to go. So I'm going to grab my baking dish real quick with a light coat of cooking spray. Oh yes, I use canola. There you go. We don't want that stuff sticking to the bottom. If you don't do that, you're not going to get the Rice Krispies out of the pan. So we'll go ahead and scoop this in. All of it real quick. Now I made a mistake just now and I should have buttered my spatula before I did this. We'll move that around a little bit. Now our little leftover bit of butter we got there. We're going to take it on our spatula and go to town. Be pretty liberal with it so we can move these Rice Krispies around this pan. Now I'll mash them in there pretty good because I try to keep about a half inch or a three-quarter base on the crisp pads. So, all right, that was easy enough. Now that I got that where I want it, I'll my hands off real quick. <clears throat> we are going to spread all this mess out of the way. Mmm, <laughs> little snack. Our peanut butter. So I just do a thin layer on here. Kind of where you can still see the Rice crispy, the Krispies poking through. Good deal. Alright, let me throw this in the sink and rinse my hands off real quick. Here comes the fun part. If you got kids at home, this is a really fun part for them that's not too messy in the creation of this dessert. We've got our graham cracker and we've got our marshmallow. Now, here's the key. Put the mini marshmallows down first so they'll stick to the peanut butter. Then go in with the graham cracker. Because if you put the graham cracker down first, it's going to make it hard to get those marshmallows to stick. So I'm just going to grab these suckers and kind of stuck together. So I'm just going to plop them on here. Take this and sprinkle it a little bit at a time on there. And I'm gonna take that and pack it down with my hands just a little bit because, like I said earlier, when we put the last part on the chocolate, we want it to uh, coat pretty evenly. So I'm gonna push that down a little bit. It'll be good to go. All right. Last step. Well, second to last step. Melting some chocolate. So I'm going to start microwaving this, and we want to do half a bag at a time because too much of it gets really tacky in the microwave. Okay, so I know I told you guys half a bag. I ended up just throwing the whole bag in there, and it turned out good. So quickly, let's get it on top of the dessert. Again, with the same thing with these. I like to spread it out pretty thin. You can go as thick as you want, but with the two bags that I've used, you have to do it pretty thin. So we got about half of it done there. So let's get our other bag and get going. Right, we got our last bit of chocolate we're gonna put on here. Spread that around. That's looking good. Looking real good. What do you think, baby? <laughs> good deal. Alright, take one more look. May not look pretty, but it sure is damn delicious. Last step. Mm-hmm. Let's put it in the refrigerator. About an hour, two hours, something like that, give or take, just until this cools off and solidifies. Um, one thing, you don't want to leave this in the fridge overnight. Let it cool down, let it stiffen up, take it out and leave it at room temperature. If you leave it in overnight or in the fridge for too long, it'll get brittle and dried out and be really crunchy and fall apart on you. So, put it in the fridge.
There's no freaking room in the fridge. So, we uh, normally keep this in the refrigerator for an hour. We'll let the chocolate really settle, maybe two hours depending. But um, we fell asleep on the couch for six hours now. We didn't even uh, try to let the chocolate <laughs> get the room temp. I'm just going to cut this. <laughs> we're going to try it. And we're going to say adieu. So, cutting into my crispy peanut butter s'more bars. There we go. Oh, I was cutting into this crispy peanut butter goodness. Let me see if I can prize out. But, I let it sit in there way too long. Okay, I got me a corner of my crispy s'more bar, a layer of peanut butter, some marshmallow. I'm going in. Mmm. Oh man. I almost like it with the chocolate really cold. That's really good. Mmm. I don't have time for a glass. I always have a drink. And today is milk. Cold ass milk. That's good. Mm hmm. Guys, thank you for watching the show. Uh, I hope you really enjoy this. Hope you try it. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, like me on Facebook and subscribe to me on YouTube. Y'all have a good morning. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Mm. That's right. She like a dag, can't it, baby, can't it? Wish we could do it over, damn it, baby, damn it.